In these two problems, looking for the coefficient of an expansion, you end up using the letter arrangement formula in an unexpected way. Um, and the reason you do this, and I'm going to give you a short explanation and then just show it to you because it's so easy. Let's say we had, instead of to the seventh, um, let's do it to the fourth just for ease. If, if I wanted something like this to the fourth power, and I, and I went through and multiplied all this together, one of the ways to do it would be to keep everything in very neat order. And if we were to do that, when we went, were multiplying things, let's say we wanted um, to find out when we have two x's, a y, and a z. Well, one way to do that would be x times x times y times z. And so that would be x, x, y, z. And then another way to do that would be x times x times this z times y, x, x, z, y. Another way to do that would be x, y, so taking a y from this one, x, z, and then we could do x, y, z, x. And we could keep going, and what we'd find out, and so for instance, the next time we could just say x, z, x, y, and x, z, y, x, and hopefully you're recognizing that um, it's the order that we're multiplying these, and it turns out to be all the possible arrangements of those four letters. So if we want to find out what the coefficient of that is, exactly all the different ways you can arrange three x's, two y's, and two z's. If you were to go through and multiply it all out and keep every variable in order without using exponents, that's what it would come up to be. So the solution to this is just simply 7 factorial over 3 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial, which just it turns out to be 210. Very, very simple um, problem when you consider the letter arrangement form. So when we look at this next one, that is a similar problem, except that instead of having a z, we have a 3. And instead of, instead of having a y, we have a 2y. So now what we're going to have the, the coefficient of this is going to include 3y, three, 3 x's, 2 y's, and then also 2 3's. But don't forget that any time you multiply, when you're multiplying these all out by a y, you're actually multiplying by 2y. So we need to not just put the, the y squared, we also have to have that 2 squared. So that would be, um, every one of those would look like this, and so every one of these would end up being x cubed y squared, 2 squared is 4, so that's 36. And so now we think about how many ways can we arrange the 3x's, the 2y's, the two, two and the 2 3's. Well, that's the same as before. It's just going to be 7 factorial over 3 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial, because you're just arranging those out. And so you then just multiply this by 210. And when you multiply that out, you end up with 7,550. And so that is the coefficient when you expand x plus 2y plus 3 to the seventh power. The x cubed y squared term has a coefficient of 7,560.